Hey, I'm Reggie Ponder, The Real Critic, and I'm here with the ABFF. Reggie Ponder here with Tessa Thompson for the movie Creed. Tessa, How are you? this, you guys put this down. I, I, I was really surprised at this because I didn't want to see another Rocky movie. Sure. And so I was concerned. Uh, did you have any concerns going in with this? You know what, to be honest, not exactly. Because to me, instead of looking at the movie as the next Rocky movie, I really looked at it as the next Ryan Coogler movie. And I was such a fan of his work in Fruitvale Station that that was sort of the, the way that I approached it. And to be honest, Sylvester Stallone wasn't interested in making another Rocky movie. So it was important to us that we bring something that's really fresh and new, which is which is what we tried to do with Creed. With your character, what I like that Ryan did was that he didn't make you just his woman. Yeah. He made you with your own interests and your own stuff. Uh, talk a little bit about that. Yeah, we, we wanted to make something that, that people could really connect to that, that looked like the lives that they live, especially millennials. And the truth is we live in a world where women are just as career-oriented, ambitious, as driven as men are. Um, and that's that's fantastic, and it's a, it's a great time because of that. And sometimes it complicates love and, 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 and romance between two people. So we wanted to talk about that a bit. Talk about the music. Uh, you you got to sing a little bit. You you like the music stuff? Yeah, I mean, I wrote the music, so I yeah, I better like it. Uh, <laughs> but I worked with a really talented composer named Ludwig Gorsen, who who scored the film and also produced the the songs for the movie that I sing. So you know, it was such a great experience. <laughs> They love him. They love him, right? Yes, they do. So, so in writing the music, was this something that you wanted? To, did you ask to do for this project? Uh, no, it was something that was an imperative for Ryan Coogler, whatever actress that he was going to cast to play Bianca was going to write the music. So I happened to be that person. So the one of the tags here is I fight for. So my question is, is that there's a lot of stuff, of racial stuff going on right now, and people are fighting for that. How do you think this movie, it, it just a little bit, might even relate to that from a fighting perspective? Well, I, I think representation is so important in media, and I think it's important for young people. I mean, I look around at the students here, and so many of them have faces like mine, and I think it's really important for them to be able to go to a movie theater and see someone that looks like them projected on screen. And so in that way, I feel like this movie, while it's not about race in America, I'm, I'm hoping that it, that it brings us into a new space a little bit. So, so last thing, this movie comes out when? It comes out November 25th. So, so you got to look in here and you got you to plug this one. Come on. Come on. <laughs> okay. Um, you should go see the movie Creed. It comes out November 25th. It is the perfect movie to see with your family. It's multi-generational. It's a story about self-belief, but most importantly about family. So you will be with your family. You will be all full from the turkey. You will go to the movie. And I kid you not, you will enjoy yourself so much. You, you got it right here. <laughs> That's Tessa Thompson, y'all. I'm Reggie Ponder.